All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Q. It's Chris, tech savvy agent, and we got a great show today. This week, we're going to cover a bunch of just back to basics. You know, I've, I've been on the road. I was at the Keller Williams show. I was in Spain, you know, kind of reporting from the field. But I wanted to get back to basics this week, give you guys some practical takeaways. Also, uh, I'm basically going to be living in Las Vegas uh, for the month of March, which is a little dangerous, but I'll be there for the Remax convention, the Coldwell Banker convention, the ERA convention, and the Century 21 convention. So if you're going to be at any of those, please uh, come by and say hello. Also, Agent Reboot with Inman is kicking off, so I'll be in Seattle, Phoenix, as well as Orange County. So a lot of great events. And then at the end of the month, I'll be in Atlanta for RE Tech South, which I'm really excited about. They have an insanely good lineup of speakers. So I'll be all over the country this month, but glad I could get back to basics. You guys see I got a little bit of a beard. You know, I haven't been home for a while, so letting it grow a little bit, but let's get into it. So what are we going to cover in the queue this week? Well, first up, there's an amazing app kind of a plug-in for your computer called Rescue Time. And trust me, you guys need it because you're on all these sites and all this stuff. And wait till you see what it does. I think you guys will all want to add it immediately. Uh, the second thing I'm going to cover is called Mophi. And Mophi is basically a really cool cell phone accessory that when I showed it at the Keller Williams show, I had like 15 people come up and say, hey, let me see that thing. So figured I'd share it with everyone. I'm also going to uh, show you guys a site called Kiowa, Kiowa, which is a QR code generator site, but it's more about generating leads than providing the client with all the information. Of course, we all want leads. Last thing, if you're on the internet at all, if you're a real estate agent who's on Twitter or Facebook or the RE.net, uh, you've been seeing what's been happening with my good friend Daniel Rothamel, the real estate zebra. So I wanted to touch on that at the end today. So here we go. So what's up first? Rescue time. What you guys need to do first is just go to rescuetime.com and it works on PC, Mac, etc. My good friend Darren Persinger uh, of productivityjunkies.com, he's actually the gentleman that turned me on to this, but here's what it does in a nutshell, you guys. It's going to let you focus your effort on specific sites and tasks. So for example, you see how it has a little feature called focus time. You can actually force your computer to not let you use anything but, etc., for the next X amount of time. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you're going to work your database every day from 10 to 12, a lot of agents like to kind of time block in database time, Facebook time, whatever it may be, you can actually tell your computer, do not let me do anything but this for the next 45 minutes, and it will lock your machine down into using just that program. The other cool thing is you can set up alerts. So you can tell Rescue Time, I don't want to use Twitter for more than an hour a day, or I don't want to be uh, in my email inbox for more than 30 minutes a day. And it'll actually start giving you these little pop-up notifications when you've hit those preset parameters. Again, what a great tool that's gonna be for a lot of people. And the other thing it does is at the end of the week or at the end of the day or a month, it's tracking all of these analytics. So it'll show you, you spent the most time on Facebook, database, email, blogging, whatever it may be, it's going to give you all these cool analytics. This is all free, by the way, which is crazy. And I really think that you guys need something like this because you have so many different things you could be doing on the web, spending time in the MLS. I look at it this way. If you're spending the most time in Facebook and you're generating the least amount of money from the time you're spending there, you might need to look at that and just say, okay, I need to change what I'm doing. So Rescue Time, hopefully you guys are going to love that, rescuetime.com. Again, thank you to Darren Persinger. Uh, I plugged Rescue Time into my computer, and it just blew up because I'm just on all these sites too much. Up next is called Mophie. So what is Mophie? 
So here's the concept with Mophie, you guys. Really simple. I have an iPhone. This works on any iPhone. One thing I'll say is if you're an Android or a BlackBerry user, please help me find something like this for your device because I tried and I couldn't. If there's something out there that does what Mophie does for Android and BlackBerry, please add that to the comments so we can educate on that. But here's what Mophie is, you guys. It's really simple. It's a case. So here's my iPhone 4, but you can see that it's a really neat case. And what this case does is it gives me more than another full battery. And it actually looks really neat here. I'll give you guys a couple images on the screen. Beautiful design. And on the bottom, if I press this button, it's going to show me how much backup juice do I have in my phone. And then on my screen here, you'll see my phone is not charging right now. But if I just flip this little switch on the side, I can just flip this and it's gonna go into charge mode. And again, it's gonna give me more than another full charge 500 times. It's $74.95, I paid it and didn't even think twice. As much data as we're using on our smartphones, and anybody that has like an Android or an iPhone, you guys know these things drain like crazy. Well, now I don't have to worry about that. At the end of the first battery, I flip the switch and I'm good. So mophie.com, I'll link that up below. Awesome option, check that out. Uh, next, Kaiwa. I think I spelled it wrong on the first slide. So it's K-A-Y-W-A and all these crazy names. But here's the concept. You know, there's so much talk on the web about QR codes. Are they a fad? Are they something that are that's gonna stick? You know, I don't think it's a fad that when somebody pulls up to a house, they could scan something or do something on their phone to get more info. Now, do they have to scan? Probably not, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to scan a QR code and kind of see what happens. The reason I wanted to recommend Kiowa, and by the way, I got this one from Jonathan Rivera. Uh, you guys can check him out at real dash techguy.com. That's my man from the uh, official real estate referral group. The reason I like Kiowa is because the focus of the QR code is to generate a lead. So we're not going to play a video for them with this one. We're not going to uh, send them over to like tour.me or view.it or one of these kind of listing QR code systems. This is going to get them to send you a text message requesting more information and that, of course, is going to get you their phone number. And the goal, of course, is to get people on the phone. So it's a buyer. They're looking at the home. They scan the code. And if you guys look on the side there, what you can do is you can set up a preset text message. The one I put in there says, to see all of the interior photos and the price of this home, simply press send. So they hit send. You get a text message saying that they want more info, but you also get their phone number. A lot of the QR code scanning things don't actually generate the lead. They just give the consumer more information. So if your focus is lead gen, you might want to take a look at Kiowa. And it's uh, there's the domain, qrcode.kiowa.com. Uh, and you can still use this service to link them to a video. You can actually set it up to where when they scan the code, it calls you. So a couple cool options, but I love the text message option, and I did get some great feedback at the Keller Show. I had an agent come over and say, hey man, we're using this, and we're getting leads, we're getting people's phone numbers, which is of course the primary goal. So that's called Kiwa.com. So we've covered Rescue Time, Mophie, and Kiwa. And that's it. Those are the practical takeaways. The last thing I wanted to cover for you guys is a good friend of mine, Daniel Rothamel. There's a huge deal on the web right now. Everybody's buzzing about this. I'm going to keep it simple. It's an issue about him using the word zebra. So he's the realestatezebra.com. And there's a group up in Washington called The Loans Group. And they also very heavily use zebras in their marketing. Now, Daniel sells real estate. And the loans group sells services to realtors. So there's really not a conflict. Daniel's in Virginia. They're up in Washington. But there's obviously a little bit of miscommunication. So there's been a lot written about this. Jay Thompson wrote a post. 
Chris Brogan. I actually had an a email sent to me from the loans group explaining their side of the case. I put that up. I'll link to all of that below. But Daniel's a good friend. He's got a baby. I've met his kid. His kid has played with my kid. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met in this industry. He does nothing but help and share and provide great information. I'm touring with him on Agent Reboot. So whether he's wrong or right, or whether they're right or wrong, that's not really the point of this discussion. The point is that when you get sued, it's expensive and you need help paying for the attorneys. Even if you win, by the way, it still gets expensive. I'm sure many of you have dealt with that in the past. So there's a website that Jay Thompson set up, zebradefensefund.com. I'll link that up below. I gave $20. I know that everybody can't donate, but if you've met Daniel and you know him the way that I know him, you're going to be real quick to go hop into that PayPal and donate to the zebradefensefund.com. Thank you guys. Another episode of The Q is in the can. Have a great week. Hopefully I'll see a lot of you guys this month. Chris, The Q, Tech Savvy Agent. Thank you guys.